Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Qahab, chapter number 18, verse number 54, that this is a book in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made things clear. And this is a book which is mentioned in detail. Many similitudes in which is benefit for humankind. But men is in most things contentious. Allah repeats a similar message in Surah Az-Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 27. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in detail many similitudes so that men may receive admonition. If you read the Quran, it will surely benefit you in this world as well as hereafter. You read the Quran, if you don't know Arabic, read the Quran in the language you understand. If you understand English, read it in English. The language you understand the best. If you understand Urdu, read it in Urdu. If you understand Hindi, read it in Hindi. If you understand French, read it in French. If you understand German, read it in German. Read it in the language you understand, irrespective whether you read the English translation, the Urdu translation, the Hindi translation, the French translation, or German translation. At least read the translation of the glorious Quran so that you can understand the message of your Creator. I'll let you give an example. Suppose a very close friend of yours, who's a German, he comes from Germany and he spends a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks with you in Bombay. He being a German, he can't speak English fluently, but he can converse with you. He spends a couple of weeks in Bombay and when he goes back to Germany, he writes to you a letter in German because he can't speak English fluently, he can't write English fluently, so he writes to you a letter in German. Now when you get that letter in German, you don't understand German. What will you do? But natural, because he's a close friend, you will have that letter translated. You'll want to know what did your good friend tell you from Germany. You will have that letter translated. Don't you want to know what is the message, the last and final message given by a creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You don't have to go and translate the Quran. The Quran, alhamdulillah, has already been translated in the major languages of the world. Many Muslims, they think that the Quran was only revealed for the Muslims. And the Quran is not meant for the non-Muslims. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1, Alif Lam Ra. This is a book which Allah has revealed so that thou may guide the humankind from the depths of darkness to light. Allah is telling that this book, the Quran, was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, so that he could guide the humankind from the depths of darkness to light. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52, that here is a message for mankind. Let them take warning therefrom. Let them know there is one God. Let the men of understanding take heed. Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guide for humankind, as a criteria to judge right from wrong. The so Quran is a book which was revealed in the month of Ramadan as a guide for the whole of humankind, not only for the Muslims or for the Arabs, but for the whole of humankind, as a criteria to judge right from wrong. Allah says in Surah Az-Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 41, We have revealed the message to thee, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, so that thou may instruct the humankind. The Quran does not say 
that the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad so that he may instruct only the Muslims or the Arabs, so that he may instruct the whole of humankind. Yet, there are many Muslims who do not want to share the Quran with the non-Muslims, thinking, what will these non-Muslims understand the Quran? These non-Muslims, these mushriks, these kafir, what will they understand the Quran? Thinking that they are very superior. Do you know, this Quran was revealed 1400 years ago. At a time, it was revealed in Arabia, at a time which was known as Yom al the days of ignorance. At that time, before the Quran was revealed, the Arabs were known as the most ignorant people of the world. And imagine this Quran has changed the lives of these Arabs and made them the torchbearers of the world. So when the Quran could change those people 1400 years ago, why can't the Quran change the non-Muslims of this time? These are not the days of ignorance. History tells us that was known as Yom al the days of ignorance. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ mean that we have sent thee not but as a mercy to the whole of humankind, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to all the worlds. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, the last and final messenger was sent for the whole of humankind. The Quran says in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 28, verse number 24, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَفَّتَ الْنَاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَزِيرًا We have sent thee not but as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings yet do not know. Most of the human beings yet do not know. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humankind. We Muslims, we unfortunately want to sit on the Quran like a cobra, Neither do we read it, neither do we want the others to read it. And many of the Muslims, they quote the Quran, saying that Quran cannot be given to the non-Muslim because Allah says in the Quran, and they quote Surah Waqiyah, chapter number 56, verse number 77 to 80, where it says that this is the Quran which is revealed from the rod of the world, and this is the Quran which is kept in a tablet well preserved, who none shall touch except those who are pure. It is from the Lord of the worlds. And many, many Muslims say that see the Quran says, none shall touch the Quran except those who are pure. And the non Muslims, they are Najis, they are Napak, they are unclean. That's the reason. These non-Muslims, they cannot touch the Qur'an.